Hi, Joshua Carr, Carr Real Estate again. Um, I posted a couple videos on interest-only calculations in an amortization table, and at least a couple people asked me about this. They said, well, it's great that you could do interest-only at the beginning of an amortization table, but how would you do it in the middle? It's pretty simple, actually. Basically, what you do is you write this. You say, okay, if the month I'm in is greater than or equal to the start of the interest-only period, and the month I'm in is less than or equal to the end of the interest-only period, then the payment would be equal to the interest payment. If not, the payment would be the normal rate divided by 12, number of periods, present value. The interest calculation is, as always, just interest on the balance. The principal is the difference between the payment and the interest. So for example, if I say, let's not start this until month seven, and let's end this in month nine, it works. Or if I want to start it at month two and end it at month five, it works. And then if I decide I don't want interest only calculations at all, I can just zero out both of these and the interest only goes away because if you start at zero and you end at zero, then obviously the month you're in is not inside of that range. That's it. That's how you build an interest only calculation in the middle of an amortization period. Of course, if you then need to recalculate the payment um, once the IO period is over, that's a whole nother conversation, but at least this is a simple problem to a simple question. Okay, thanks again. If you like this sort of stuff, check it out at carrealestate.com or email me at josh at carrealestate.com. Thanks again.